This investigator is ringing with the Sanford Police Department. Today's date is March the 1st. It's a... It's a Thursday. Yeah. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. I am located at... What's the address here, ma'am? Okay, were you home Sunday night, ma'am? Were you home Sunday night? Yes, I was. Can you tell me what you saw? I saw two guys running. Okay. Couldn't tell you who was in front, who was behind. I was looking out the kitchen window. And... Had something on the stove. Went to the sliding glass door. Saw a fist fight, just fist. I don't know who was who was hitting who. Mm -hmm. Went back to turn the stove off. And by the time I walked back, I heard the shot. Okay, that you, was didn't, it. you just saw the chase. You couldn't tell who yeah. was in front, who was no. in back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I had the the blinds just partially open. It wasn't all the way. Open. Did you hear any arguing? Any yelling? Yeah. No. no. Okay. All I heard was no, no. That was it. And I heard the shot. Was it raining? Yes. Heavily or drizzling? It was wet. I know. I was sitting out there for a while just before it happened. Um, it was on and off. Okay. Any other problems in the neighborhood as far as with your unit overhead you know of? No. Break-ins, that kind of stuff? No. Okay. All right. I'm going to now conclude this interview. I don't think I started the time, but the time is now uh, it was 8 o'clock. Oh, 7 o'clock. Some investigators are back on tape with uh, one more time. They were chasing each other, correct? Mm -hmm. How far away from each other would you say? I'm going to step away from you. I think we're in there. About here. Is this a car length, more or less, would you say? Eight feet, ten feet? Ten feet, about, yeah, right? About ten feet. About ten feet. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. This investigator is with the Sanford Police Department today. His date is Friday, March the 9th. 2012. It's now 6:26 p.m. We're located at the Sanford Police Station, 815 West 13th Street, City of Sanford, Seminole County, Florida. Here to discuss Sanford case number 2012-501136. The uh, shooting death of a Trayvon Benjamin Martin. Presence in the room is. State your name, ma'am. Uh, your date of birth and your address. Okay. Sanford, Florida. 2771. Okay. Yeah. And your phone number. Thank you. Thanks for coming today, by the way. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, we're here discussing this that occurred in your neighborhood on Sunday, the 26th of February. Mm -hmm. Were you home that day at about 7 p.m.? Yes. Can you tell me exactly what you saw, what you heard? All I saw was a glance running. I, I kind of more heard it than saw it. I heard it because I only glanced. I threw something in a chair and I happened to be seeing them coming. So that's all I really saw. Turned around, walked out the room, and I think I heard either no or yo, and that's it. Then when I went back to the back room, I heard the shot. Okay, Did you could you identify anybody that you saw or heard? No. no I, I don't know what either of them looks like. Um, well, prior to, I still don't know what George looks like. Okay. The direction in which you saw these two individuals running, was it towards your house or away from your house, towards the T or towards the street? Towards the T. Okay, so it would be uh, actually away from your house. Correct, because you live right there on that, that, uh, that row on Retreat View, correct? Mm -hmm. So your house would have been, they weren't running in the direction of your house, they were running in the opposite direction, is that correct? No. Okay, which way were they? No, they were going this way. Okay, which would be towards, towards your, the T. Towards the T. Okay, mm -hmm. away from your house then. Because your house is in relation to the T, were they running? Okay, so, because you live right, if they, were, if they kept on running, would they have passed your house? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm trying to think of where your house is in relation to the T. Did you. Um, this is the T, though. Okay, the T's here. My house is like here. Okay. So they were coming this way. This is the T. Okay, so this is, okay, so you live directly across. So I was looking from the opposite side, so I was walking the street. That makes sense. Okay. So, how far were we from this whole thing, would you say? Approximately in feet? Hard to say. I mean, I was upstairs. They were downstairs. Okay. So, so you're kind of looking down on it? Yeah. Okay. I was just glancing, so mm -hmm. it's just a glance. Um, so you couldn't tell me how, no. how this whole thing started? Oh, no. You couldn't tell me how, who was beating up on who, who no, initiated no. the fight? No. None of that. No. Okay.
but I she, know I feel horrible because I was just sitting out there reading for like an hour and a half. I came inside, and the other thing is, I took my contacts off. So okay. I either wear contacts or glasses, and I didn't have either of them when I went back into the room. And it, so, w and it was very dark out there. It was. So, so you know, it's just. I feel horrible, horrible about the whole thing. You know, I see them, you know, you see this kid out there and nobody went to help. And I just, it's just horrible, you know. I oh, just feel around. like if I had went out there, maybe I could have given CPR. If I had stayed out there five minutes later reading the book or if I didn't take my contacts out, I could see more. It's just, you know, it's horrible. I gotcha. Okay, I'm going to put this interview. It is now six. 6.30, actually. Today's date is March 20th, 2012, 7.28 next till time. I'm here with Jim Post, State Attorney's Office, 18th Judicial Circuit, and myself, John Baxter, a special agent with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. The purpose and scope of our inquiry today is to conduct an independent follow-up with regards to the shooting investigation that has been conducted by the Sanford Police Department in your community. This inquiry is being conducted by agents of the Florida Department of Law Enforcement as well as investigators with the Office of the State Attorney. Uh, on February 26, 2012, an, uh, an event occurred here at, at the complex. Uh, could you go through what, what if you were you yeah. here that day I was here that okay. day um, I was sitting out back for about an hour and a half it was rainy it was getting dark I was out there reading I want to say maybe around 630 I got up and came inside was down here for a couple minutes and I went upstairs I took my was my daughter and her friends was here so they were upstairs talking Talk with them for a minute, then I went into the bathroom, I took my contacts out. I went into my sister's room, which is the back bedroom, put something down and picked something up, and just glancing, I saw something out there. I couldn't tell you if it was a man, a woman, a kid, black or white, I couldn't tell you, because it was dark, and plus I didn't have my contacts on or glasses. And it was a glance. And I walk back out as fast as I put something down and I pick something up, I walk right back out of the room and by the time I got to the hallway I heard either either yo or no. By the time I got to the front room I heard the shot and it sounded like it was coming from the front because I we had the windows all open upstairs so it sounded like it was from the front. So I looked out the front window and I didn't see anything. And I was just getting ready to yell downstairs at my sister who was downstairs and what did you drop? Because it sounded like she dropped something and that by, th by that time she came upstairs and she was like, I think somebody got shot out back. I came downstairs and I saw the body down there. And then I asked her, I said, should I go out there? Because I wanted to go out there and see if maybe someone needed help or something. And as fast as I said that, I saw the policeman with the flashlight. And that was basically it for me for the night. Okay. As you mentioned, came downstairs and seen the body. Mm -hmm. Describe exactly. And where were you standing? I was right here. And is this your rear door? Mm hmm Yes. Looking to the rear? Correct. What do you call this uh, here? Is this Glass a, sliding no, door. I'm sorry, what do you call the, the area out there? Is there a term that the, is that the dog walk as some people call it? Is Just it, a walkway. Okay, so you were looking mm -hmm. out facing the mm -hmm. walkway. Mm -hmm. Okay. What did you see? I saw the, the person lying on the, the ground. How was the person lying? I want to say they were on their back. I want to say they were on their back. What were they wearing? It looked like a light colored shirt, white sneakers, and I looked like sweatpants where one was up and one leg was down. That's what it looked like. No hoodie or anything like that. But then again, I didn't have my contacts on or glasses. So. 
Could you see this person? Could you describe how this person was laying? Head facing out. So it wasn't facing that way, it was facing that way. Um, I want to say it was on the back, on his back. How was the hands and feet position? I can tell you. Did you see anybody else? No, I saw the flashlight from here. You can only see so far. You can't see back this way, but I did see the flashlight. I couldn't tell you who was holding the flashlight until I saw the cop walk to the side. And I don't know if it was him or not, but I know he did have a flashlight in his hand. You mentioned your sister's room. Mm -hmm. What side of the house is your sister's room? The back end facing the walkway. And is that the window that you looked out? Mm -hmm. Why did you look out that window? I thought I saw something. I, you know, it's like you, in your vision, your um, your vision, you see something. So that's all it was. It was a glance. I thought I saw something. And you're you're describing saw something. What mm -hmm. did you think you saw? A person. It was a person. But I couldn't tell you again if it was. Could a you man tell what the person was doing? I thought it was running. I more heard it than see it. I could hear something, and that's what made me glance. The, the feet running. That's what I heard. So that would that, that just made me glance up when I just got something and I walked back out there. And room. what did you see when you glanced down? I, someone. It was nobody was on the floor yet. It wasn't on the floor. I just know I saw a person out there. I can tell you who it was though. Okay, you described, you heard the feet running, mm -hmm. and your statement today mm -hmm. is why you look mm -hmm. out the window. Mm -hmm. What direction could you describe that is happening? I thought they were coming this way. And you're indicating, if you're looking out your window, you're indicating left to right, looking out your rear yes. door. Mm -hmm. Can you describe anything about that person or no. that object that you... No, because I didn't have glasses or contacts on. At that moment when you heard what you, again, in your statement today is running and you looked out, did you hear any anything uh, being said? No, I didn't. Not until I walked out and I was in the hallway. Which hallway? Where were you at? I'm sorry. Upstairs. Okay, so when you walked out of the room in the hallway and you indicated you had the windows open, mm -hmm. was the window open in the front? Yes. Of it was and open. what did you hear? I said it was either yo or no. But then again, I was upstairs daughter had friends up there uh, so this yo or no mm -hmm. you believe it came from the outside yes mm -hmm. in the direction of the person or the that where you look up when I didn't think of any direction as to where it was coming from at all but, no it never but not me. inside here no it wasn't in here did it appear to be a male or female voice I would say a male voice Did you hear anything after that? Then I heard the, sh the shot, which I didn't think at first was a shot, like I said, because it sounded like she dropped something. And I did look out the window. I thought it was a shot, but then again, I didn't think it was a shot because I looked out the window and I thought, well, there's nothing happening out front, you know. So I was getting ready to yell down to her, what did you drop? We have a doggy gate we keep up for him, it's for him not to go upstairs, and it sounded like that fell over. That's what it sounded like. When you came back down after you heard the shot, mm -hmm. are you familiar with a, f a gun and what it sounds like? No. What makes you believe it was a shot then? Like I said, it sounded like it, but it didn't because it sounded like a pop more than anything and it didn't sound loud enough to be a gunshot. But then again, you know, it made me look out the window because I knew it was something. It was a, it was 
down here? No, upstairs. So when, I, when I walked out the room and I heard the yo or no, I went to my room in the front. By the time I got to the front of, in my room upstairs, that's when I heard the shot. And that's when I looked out the window. Which window? The front window. And you saw? Nothing. The street was empty. There was nothing going on out front. And that's when you indicated you came? No, I didn't come downstairs yet. That's, I was getting ready to iron. I was getting ready to start my ironing. That's when she came upstairs and said, okay. I think somebody got shot. That's when I came downstairs. So everything I seen or heard was from upstairs, back okay. from one end to the other end. And this person you described is on the ground. Mm -hmm. Did you see anybody else? No, not initially. When he was there by himself, no. Not until the cops came. Did you see any flashlights? Anybody with flashlights at any time? I did see when I was down here and I asked her, I said, should I go out there? and see what's going on. She was, she was really scared. I said, she said no. And I saw the light. But it, whoever was holding the light was off to the side. And then I saw the cop walk in, looking at the, the body with the flashlight. How, how long was that from the time that you heard the shot? It seemed like immediately, immediately the cops were here. Okay. From the time you heard as you described in your statement of running. Mm -hmm. From that moment to the Shot. pop, how long? In your estimate? 15 seconds so from the time it takes me to walk from one end of the house to the other, maybe 15 seconds. So it would be like the length of this down here. And then from that moment, how long till you came down and... I would say another 25 to 30 seconds because she came upstairs immediately after the shot and, you know... Yeah, I, I can't think of anything else with that. If I had stayed outside just a little bit longer, it would have been different. I would have, you know, I would have had my contacts in. I would have seen something better. Plus it was dark, it was rainy, you know, so. And there's always kids and stuff out there, so you you just never think about anything, you know. There's always kids running back there, people are always walking their dogs, so you never think of anything out of the ordinary, so. Have you, have you seen on TV the two people that were involved in this? Do you know, do you know either one of them? I don't know either one of them, no. Okay. If you would, raise your right hand. Do you swear that the testimony you provided is the truth? Yes. Time is 7.40. This concludes the interview.